guys, welcome back. It's actually later in the day. I don't usually start a video at this time of the day, but I'm finally feeling inspired. I'm feeling ready for autumn, mainly because today has actually been a quite a productive day. Finally picked our tiles and we actually went to Miranda and Stone. And I was so shocked at the end because they, he was like, hey, take one of these. Oh my gosh, it's called Spiced Mandarin. Really clever. And it's a candle. It's um, mandarin, orange, and ginger. And it smells so much like autumn, winter. It smells, it smells a lot like the White Company autumn fragrance, actually. And I could smell it the whole way back in the car. And that's like, that's it. Time to go to HomeSense and do the yearly HomeSense shop, which no doubt will involve a lot of candles too. So I'm gonna sh show you some things that I picked up online. Have We're gonna have a really early dinner and then head out to see what you can find. And this year, I think with the bill situation, the heating, I really want the home to feel so cozy. And I've had my eye on these for a little while. Anthropology had them last autumn and I was like, do I really need them? And I still wanted them this autumn, so I was like, that's it, gonna purchase them. So I got two, they go perfectly with all of our mugs in the kitchen, they're all this um, kind of color. We've actually got the Christmas ones from last year, which have Santa on them, and we use them so much, so much more than I thought we would. So I thought these would be perfect, and I'm really wanting to do, have any of you had like a pumpkin spiced hot chocolate? Because I'm not a tea or coffee drinker really, so, well, it's coffee really, isn't it? That you would put some kind of syrup into, but yeah, I might think about making my own pumpkin syrup to go into hot chocolates. I have also got some glasses coming, but they annoyingly arrived today whilst I was out, so I'm gonna have to pick those up tomorrow. Fragrance wise, I didn't pick up too much because we know Home Sense is gonna have me covered for that, but I do really like the Autumn White Company fragrance. It's far more um, kind of like fresh smelling. So it's pear, quince, and apricot. And it's kind of more of that like kitchen bathroom scent. More of like, it's like still relaxing in autumn, but it's more of that like fresh, crunchy leaf walk kind of thing, like ice in the morning. It's fresher, <laughs> basically. And then I also picked up, cause I didn't have, I do still have some of the White Company oil and I'm not yet ready to move into the candle, but I picked up the winter room spray because I just thought a little bit of room spray would be nice. Once it gets cold, it's never too early to have the winter fragrance. And then H&M, I'm not 100% sure on these. I'm wanting to change around and add some different cushion covers. I usually just put them over my other cushion covers and swap them out. I picked up this one, which is like a really lovely linen and it is actually linen. And actually the color on there looks quite nice. It's like a quite a dull purple color. It's looking more brown. Let me take it out the packaging. It's looking way more brown on the camera, but it's actually more of a lilac-y kind of color. I, I like it more now that I'm looking at it. I love these kind of like neutral colors for the autumn. I have, I have a thing for this glass in the autumn time. Something that looks kind of like tortoiseshell, though these obviously light and like a mushroom color. They're pretty useless, you can only put a stem of flowers in them, but I thought maybe some um, kind of dried flowers, these would look really lovely. Probably more so in rooms like bathrooms where you just, just want a little touch of autumn. So that's what I picked up online. Let's have dinner, thinking of going for sausage and mash because it is the season, um, and then we will head out to HomeSense and see what they've got. So glad I decided to light that candle whilst I did dinner because I nearly forgot my favorite purchase so far of autumn. And I may say the whole year, I've been umming and ahhing about whether to get one of these rechargeable lamps. So they don't have any cable. You can take them room to room and they perfectly fit in spaces where you don't have any sockets, like this one, for example, but you want a little bit of extra light. I really love the shade that um, I picked for this one too. But this is like, um, I say it's quite like a dark bronze, but it is a bronze and it has three different um, settings, brightnesses. So if you want it just really moody, you can have it like that. We quite like having it bright because our kitchen's actually semi-dark 
and we don't have any under counter light so this adds oh it is just so perfect for autumn and i loved it so much i couldn't wait for a video for it i just wanted to put it out now we've got the moon set, we can crack on with dinner. As I said, I think I'm gonna do sausage and mash. We have our favorite HelloFresh, who are kindly sponsoring the session of today's video. We've been signed up to them for well over a year now and we couldn't live without it. Actually, I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts the other day and they mentioned the company and they said that, I think it was a, um, a statistic like 80% of people who join don't look back, they stick with it. And I can totally understand that because that is us. We love it, it's part of our life that we couldn't change and it's something that we prioritize in our spending and our lifestyle because it's made our food so much more varied but also way healthier. We would struggle if we were tired, we were having a bad week, we would ultimately go to fast food or deliveries and honestly, these are just as easy. So inside, you get your little package and you can pop these straight into the fridge and they correspond with your recipe cards. So for example, this one is number 27. So this one is uh, the Waldorf style salad, which is it's one of our all time favorites when I saw it come up again. We haven't had it since I think Maybe last year, that's how much variety we have in the meals, um, but it's our favorite, so we really wanted to have it again. Then also this week, we have ham and butternut linguine, which looks amazing. Also like an autumnal style pasta, which I quite like the idea of. And what I think I'm gonna head for tonight, honey, mustard, sausage, and onion gravy. So these packages have everything you need, perfectly portioned, and you also get a cool bag as well, which has things like, for example, creme fraiche inside it to keep it lovely and cool. And I usually pop these in the fridge, and then in our drawer, I pop all of the other items that you need for the recipes. Tonight, we need number 26. On the side of the recipe, you get a good idea of what it should look like and all of the ingredients. I've just popped some of ours out here. And then on the back, it very simply tells you step by step how you make it. If you're looking to simplify your meals and your life and you want to give HelloFresh a go, they're giving my viewers an amazing discount, which gets you 60% off your first box and 25% off for the next two months using my code which is spray60 which I will put on screen and down in the description too. Smells delicious, I love gravy at this time of year. Gnu, scoff down this and head out. Made it to home sense but I'm a little bit worried that I've missed the boat because the other week when I looked in here it was pumpkins and now it's plants and pots. But I can't believe they've all gone already, but maybe they have. Let's see. And then we don't decorate for Halloween. I love coming down this aisle, seeing all the spooky decorations. On this side, they had a load of scary witches, but I bet kids would absolutely love them. And on the other side, they had loads of things for entertaining, but I did particularly love these dog outfits. They were little jumpers. Um, and these sequin ones you could turn the other way round so this one I was like oh does it say treat the other side and it did it said um, trick on the black side and then the white ghost it said treat so sweet we need a dog <laughs> We've got a little squirrel in our garden that I love watching. He keeps taking our dams and fruits. But I'm, I'm quite friendly with him now. Maybe we can get this in memory of him. Pumpkin spice soy blend candle. $8.99. That's actually quite nice because it's quite subtle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ok. 
cushions. I think that's quite sweet. It's got lovely little acorns on it. It's terrible. I actually quite like this one. It actually, I can't actually get it down, so Gucci. maybe that's the sign. Yep. <laughs> This is actually the colour that I'm going for, completely. I love this colour. I don't love the cushion, but I love the colour, so I'm thinking... It's worth I'm it. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. Better, warmer, not so much actually. Oh, I think I hate it. Yeah, sweet. and they are sweet. Intrigued candle or jar? Do you like holder? This is my kind of candle jar. It's almost got like a mushroom lid. And these do. Oh. Does it smell good? This one's kind of lovely. Oh, that's, that's quite nice. Warm amber. That one actually doesn't smell of much, which I think we might yeah, it's like. It's quite like not offensive. I love the container too. This mushroom one. Smells like the M&M store. Yes. Kind of does. Like yeah. plastic chocolate. Yeah, like that overwhelming. Oh, wow, Isn't that one sweet? Oh, he's far too small to do anything with. Yeah. Okay. This is the same kind of colour that I'm quite liking, but a bit bigger. I like the warmth of these. I don't know if that one's actually quite useful because it's quite tall. You won't yes. like spit anything out. Yeah. I don't take up less space than I can. I agree. Oh, they are really sweet, aren't they? We could do with a basket in our snug for um, rows and blankets this time of the year. <laughs> I kind of just throw them over the sofa at the moment, but I find this much easier to keep it neat and tidy. Thought we'd quickly give Matalan a little go because I saw a reel that somebody did the other day. I think it was just on my search page. There were some really, really great things in here. It's not somewhere that I normally come. Ollie, mean, we've also just gone to check out some glue, so that's what's popping in the background. <laughs> Nothing exciting like champagne. <laughs> definitely getting darker early now I've come upstairs I'm gonna get my PJs on get cozy downstairs and I'm gonna come back to you guys tomorrow because I'm hoping I can pick up that parcel from the post office and show you everything we've picked up for autumn so last night after getting into our PJs we actually decided to turn the house and pretty much our lives upside down which is something that I have been needing to do for good cause but we have 
our mattress in here, stuff kind of like thrown everywhere, clothes that we'll need for the next four or so days because I'm starting to stain the stairs. So my hope is today that I will start to fill them and then we think it will take about four days to stain them. I could have done every other step, but it would have made the process longer. So we decided just come downstairs. So I can't decorate for autumn now because I've decided to do that. But that will mean that when I do, that top floor will be totally finished off the hallway and everything, which is really exciting. So I've started to paint up there too. So I'll show you everything I picked up, but I did go and collect the glasses yesterday. So I'm gonna get into these and show you these too. thought I'd lay it out like this and I've actually just gone to get these hydrangeas which I've been drying from our garden and I love this colour so this is the kind of colour that I'm going to be going for for autumn mostly just hydrangeas this year but I'll also get out my autumn box maybe I'll do that in a second actually and so that's why I got these glasses so these were from Anthropology. I love the texture of them I actually got eight of these so that hopefully I'm hoping to have a nice autumn maybe a family meal here and have the hydrangeas and that is a bit of a theme. And then with that, I managed to find this one at Home Sense. It's kind of probably more of a like burnt, burnt orange color, but I thought that it actually went nicely with that. And this one was in the sale for 10 pounds. So snapped that one up. And with that, I thought these were gorgeous and went with my color theme so well. They're Ralph Lauren. And actually I won't pick up tea towels that don't actually work. I just, they look beautiful. I know you can kind of use them for your hands, but a tea towel that doesn't work is so frustrating. This looks like it's gonna be really good. They were $7.99 and there is two in there. Love that print and the colors. And I'm hoping to put that onto our like Belfast sink. And then whilst we're in Matalan, I actually picked up these. I love the waffle tea towels. We have them in white, but I think they start looking a little bit sad in white. So we went for beige thought it was a little bit warmer for autumn. Also in Matalan, we got the Sephora, which is spiced plum. It smells so good. And then as well, this one, yes, I have a theme, especially at this time of the year. Just love this glassware. And as you can see, this one actually has that like purpley tint to it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this off of here. This one was 14 pounds. Uh, this is probably a little bit modern for me, but it's got a flat base, so I can sit it up too. You saw this one in Home Sense. Not sure where I'm going to be putting that one. This was gorgeous. I said I wouldn't pick up any more pumpkins this year, and I pretty much didn't, apart from this. But I just thought this was so elegant. Um, it was $9.99. My plan is to put it on top of the coffee books in the snug and put some little chocolates in it. M&S do these like chocolate balls, which are like eyes and stuff at Halloween. So I plan to put those in there. You saw us pick up this one, the Pestle and Water, that was $12.99. And I loved the colors of that one, a little bit warm. I'm hoping to put those on the shelves as I do them. This is the basket that we went for, for the throws in the snug. I also loved this photo frame. I was thinking we must put up some of our wedding photos. And this one has like a linen texture with the like brassy gold to the edge. And then I think the last thing really, this is all the things that I've shown you um, that I picked up online, were the candles. So I've got vanilla cinnamon, sand and fog simmering spices this one probably smells the most autumn and then this one i'll be honest the scent isn't it just isn't the best but i just loved the container so so much i can't remember what that one was a oh, warm amber yeah so it is still like a very autumny fragrance actually i've just smelled that one again and when it's home you can smell it so much more than with all of the other candles I'm gonna pop from what I can away now and get on with the stairs so that I can enjoy all these pieces and put them in a home, hopefully within the next few days, though it does make it so much sweeter when we've made the house a mess and we've done a bit of a renovation project and then we can tidy up and I can make it all cozy again. It kind of feels even better. I then need to get down the autumn box, which I may do now, actually. It'll just be getting in the way, but I kinda of wanna get it out. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. I think at the end of last autumn, I was excited to decorate for Christmas because this box did not get put back very well. It's a bit of a mess, um, but I've got these which will look really nice. My dried flowers hopefully are still going strong down there with some pumpkins. I've got hydrangeas, usually put these in the fireplace. And I think I 
I've also got some bits down here too. 